Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We're going to do a reading for you guys. So, this can be either or, vice versa. However it resonates, take it and leave the rest. Um, I've been hearing you like Pisces in my head for a couple of days, so I feel like there's a reason for that. Um, I have overcome any obstacle for overall energy here. So I feel like there could be some obstacles ca coming up for you. And then be peace is coming through with the dove spirit. So that's kind of like, again, s similar to that energy. Like, I think that there could be some stuff that, you know, doesn't feel great. Or maybe you're expecting things to be kind of scary or whatever. Um, but you need to be fearless and bold. And with the lion, this is a be generous of spirit. But it's also like that strength, that like powerful divine masculine energy. So I feel like... Um, there could be like energetic burdens or there could be like emotional burdens. There could be just fears popping up for people right now. But the more that you kind of like get sucked into that, like, oh my God, um, or you get fearful or whatever, I think it's, it's taking away from your peace. And whenever we do that, it takes, it doesn't, you know, serve us in any way to be like in a place of anxiety or fear or whatever. Yeah. So now I've got the queen of cups and she came out for cancer too. And I feel like, you know, this is the after tower, so it's a little bit different, but even in this one, she still looks a little sad. She's very intuitive. She's very loving, but like some, there's just an element about her that feels like, eh, you know, like there's, there's something missing. She's got this money like underneath her. She's got all this gold and all this great stuff around her. But, you know, I feel like in some ways, some of you could be feeling like there's still a piece of the puzzle that's missing. And now I also have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So you could have dealt with somebody that came into your life and then maybe rushed back out. Um, the Seven of, I mean, yeah, the Seven of Swords is like lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating, um, self-sabotage. And the Knight of Wands can be seen as somebody that, you know, can be like a player or can just be somebody that's very passionate, um, but doesn't necessarily always like follow through with things. So I feel like because these came out together, it may be that, you dealt with somebody that kind of sabotaged things, you know, like you see how he's like he's being sneaky, but while he's being sneaky, he's stepping into this little thing and kind of like sabotaging himself. Basically, I feel like if you dealt with somebody like this that came in, maybe there was a lot of passion, something happened, they rushed back out in doing what they did, they kind of sabotaged themselves and that could be causing issues at this point for both of you. That could be some obstacle here now where it's like you maybe still care about this person, but because of whatever they've done, it may have broken the trust. They may feel like because of what they've done, they can't return. You know, I feel like this is going to manifest in a couple of different ways for people. But even for those of you, like maybe because of what you've been through with somebody like this, it could even cause an issue with you opening up to new people. You know, you could be finding an obstacle there of like, I don't know if I'm ready to like have love elsewhere because what if I get hurt again and this person could have even just done this out of that energy of like maybe they had been hurt in the past so instead of ever like fully showing up for somebody they always sabotage it or they you know rush back out before they can get that connection with somebody um, so it definitely feels like some stuff has happened here in the past that could be making people feel a little sad feeling like they don't necessarily have all the things that they want you know facing some sort of obstacle that's probably taking from your peace, causing anxiety, and that's the demon that you need to fight, okay? So you could be having tr trouble sleeping at night, you could be having trouble just in regards to, like, you know, your mind, thinking from a place of peace. Again, this could all be vice versa, this could be the person that you're asking about or dealing with. If you're not dealing with somebody, there could be, again, it's if you're not dealing with somebody, this is probably you. If you are dealing with somebody, you may both be in this energy, or... It could just be them that's that's trying to fight this inner battle of, of anxiety when it comes to, you know, taking some sort of action, especially if whatever happened in the past wasn't necessarily the best. Now, I have the Nine of Cups, and this is interesting because this was on the bottom of the deck, and then I shuffled, and here it is. I feel like people just want to be happy, and I feel like you can be happy. For some of you, you may have really been impacted by this, but you could be at a point now where you're like good on your own and finding happiness again. And again, that feels like that could bring up fear. 
you know, and it could go in both directions. You could be like, well, I'm finally like able to like stand up again, you know, maybe have a little bit of that element of feeling like something's missing because there usually is here. It's like that one last pentacle isn't there. But you could be feeling like that you're good on your own, you're fulfilling yourself, you know, you're stable, whatever. And it's like, basically, there's like, this is the last piece of the puzzle, the Ten of Pentacles, the ultimate fulfillment, the, the person, the home, the things that we've always kind of dreamed of in the back of our mind that we've wanted. It's like, this is the last, you know, thing that, that you're trying to probably manifest. But because of whatever's happened here... You could be afraid of it manifesting with the person that already hurt you, or you could be afraid of it manifesting with a new person because of people who have hurt you. So I definitely feel like overall, you guys, you know, may be okay, but there's still that, like, that obstacle that needs to be faced if you want to get to this, which I feel like you guys do want that, but you're like, I don't know, um... And I think it goes both ways. It's either, like, you could be, I don't know about them because they already messed me up. Or I just don't know in general because every time I've opened up, I get hurt. You know, and that could be the thing that needs to be overcome. So you can get to that place of peace, which is going to take you from pre-empress to empress. And I feel like this is something that's available to you guys, you know. But you do need to be, like, sure of it. You need to be able to not sabotage yourself or not block yourself from that opportunity and be honest with yourself about what you want okay don't let that stuff from your past hold you back and if you are dealing you know with somebody that you feel like they're going to do it again then maybe you know that the the obstacle is to be fearless to be bold and to go towards your peace by removing them completely or just removing the like anger or the resentment or the pain that was connected to it and be fearless be bold see what happens and if they hurt you again they hurt you again you let them go and you find someone else that's going to bring you this ten of cups but because you have the nine in the nine i feel like this is what you're attracting you're attracting your happy ending you're attracting your ten of pentacles and i feel like you guys are intuitive enough to know what you should be doing with that it, whether it's going to be with the person that maybe messed things up to begin with or if it's going to be with somebody new, you know, I think I think that's that's where you need to kind of like trust yourself at this point and figure things out on what you want. Cuz just be honest like and ask yourself, can I ever trust this person again? Do I want this person back? Um, can I move on from this person completely? Like just try to be honest with yourself, tap into that inner strength so that you can have justice and balance because I feel like the only thing that's kind of holding people back from having this right now is fear and anxiety, and are not allowing themselves to just feel peace in the moment, and you could be holding on to, again, resentment, it's like, this person may want to apologize, or this person may have something to say, because I am seeing, please forgive me over here, this person may want to apologize, but they could be held back, because they're not sure if you're going to accept it, or, you know, you may just need to forgive them without getting the apology, so that you can have that justice and that balance, sometimes we need to accept things the way they are, that may be the obstacle. You may need to move on without getting closure. You may need to move on without getting the apology. But it does feel like you're going to get everything you want. So, I don't know, guys. I, I don't think there's necessary. Look at that. Even the Ten of Cups again. I feel like you can have your happy ending. You can have everything you've ever wanted. But you may need to let go of some something that's caused a lot of pain. Either the person that caused all this pain or... Just let go of the anxiety that was a result of all this pain. You know, getting rid of the resentment, getting rid of the anger, getting rid of whatever the hell, you know, you're hanging on to in regards to that fear and not having that peace. It's time to release yourself from that and work together to build something sacred so you can become the empress. Because I do feel like a lot of you, you're, you're meant to be that. That's like your destiny. Oh my God, underneath that is the freaking Nine of Pentacles again. So a lot of you are in this energy. You're good on your own right now. Um, even if you're like, maybe some of you are in karmic marriages or whatever, I feel like there's something that needs to come to an end in order for this to work somewhere else. Okay, so you could have somebody in your life that's sabotaging you from working together with your like divine person, um, or you could be sabotaging yourself from working together with your divine person because of whatever transpired between the two of you. But it's like a lot of you are already like standing pretty as a pre-empress, and your destiny is to become the empress. But we need to release 
that that ten of swords type of energy the, the difficulties look at that I picked up the deck in the state you need to close that chapter of feeling pain and not having that inner peace and you know maybe not feeling valuable enough or you know holding on to something that maybe inevitable oh my god maybe you kind of know that you need to let go of because look the moon and the nine of wands this is like when we don't see everything necessarily as clear as we do during the day and in the summer you know when the, the light is illuminating we can see everything but when the moon's out we don't necessarily see everything we got to use our intuition and I feel like some of you aren't giving, like, this is that energy of not giving up. I feel like you're not giving up on something, but you're not seeing it clearly right now. And that could be blocking you from your four of wands with, like, the divine person that's going to be that spiritual commitment, that connection, that's going to truly bring you into that empress, that's going to truly give you your destiny. It's going to breathe new life into you. Oh, my God, it's going to give you that ten of cups, but it's going to require strength. And maybe for some of you, it's going to require strength from an emperor. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's it's just going to require strength from both people. Okay. Now, if you, you know, dealt with this, it may take them a lot of strength to, to fix it or to release from their anxieties and fears. But whatever's going on here, it's like there's, there's two people that are meant to be together. There's an emperor and an empress that are meant to be together. There's a chapter that needs to close. There's a happy ending available to you. There's a spiritual connection here that's like a commitment that you can't really break. Spirit's already made that judgment call. And I think people just need to have the strength to make their decision on what this is, where and who and what this is, and see clearly enough to let go of something that's blocking you from it. Whether it's the person, whether it's the fear, whether it's the anger, the resentment, the like manipulation to ourselves, maybe some obstacle, maybe there's a karmic partner in the way, maybe there's a um, belief system in the way, you know, again, it could have been that this person was like juggling their own value and worth, or you're juggling your value and worth, but there's something that needs to be clearly seen, and in order, you know, for all of this to happen... It's like you gotta you got to illuminate something, and I think it's going to be different for each of you. That's why I'm having a hard time giving you exactly what this is. Because I think, for, I'm honestly thinking that for some of you, you're holding on to somebody that's blocking you from your true, you know, divine masculine energy. And for some of you, there's somebody that's blocking you, like that won't let go of you from you know maybe your karmic toxic marriage or again it could be on their side but there's something that's basically not letting up and it's causing illusion things aren't being seen clearly it's causing people to kind of like do 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 when what's really needed to be seen isn't being seen right now and that's causing an issue for people so i'm gonna grab this here and ask like what your person has to say like what are they feeling or desiring right now Hmm. You have no idea how badly I want to taste you thirsty. Now, of all the cards for that to come out, for some of you, it could be that there's somebody that maybe, you know, is still kind of holding on to you that just cares about your body or just cares about that type of energy with you. That may be an indicator that, like, hey, that may be the person you want to let go of. Like, if this is all they care about is, like, you know, exploring the inches of you and, and you know, connecting with you in that way, that may be, like, the aha moment, you know, like, okay, maybe they aren't ready to step into something. But then I have, I will choose comfort, you feel like home and soul cleanse. So for some of you, there is somebody that is going to clean, you know, clear up whatever this stuff is, coming into that peace and choosing what feels like home, which are very good, comfortable you know, healthy energies. So I feel like it's just going to be dependent on who you are. And I really do feel like you intuitively know it. Because that Queen of Cups knows. She's got the intuition. She's not dumb. And I think in some instances, people may not want to see things that they need to see. And in other cases, people are blinding themselves from seeing, you know, like a good thing. You're almost sabotaging yourselves on both sides, you know. Somebody is sabotaging themselves from something good, and somebody is sabotaging themselves by holding on to something bad. Yeah, I feel like those of you that may have something good available to you could have like a cold shoulder turn to it. You know, your warmth has kind of disappeared because they may have hurt you. And again, it's going to be dependent on how badly they hurt you, what the dynamic was, whether or not you should forgive them or not. 
So I think, again, you're going to know, like, is this something you should forgive this person for? Is this something that they've got, you know, going on inside of themselves? Like, what was the extent of it? Is it something that can be cleared up? Is it something that, you know, wasn't all that bad? Or is it something that shouldn't be forgiven? Is it somebody that's really, like, hostile, ego-driven, cares more about what other people think and say or see rather than what, what you care, you know, the type of person that's, like, not going to introduce you to their friends, not going to let, you know, other people know about this because, God forbid, and if that's the case, that would be a clear indication, like, okay, this isn't the right person. You deserve to be shown to people. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that deserves to be shown to people. She's, she's beautiful, she's abundant, she's confident. She's not going to put up with somebody that's going to, like, hide her in the closet or only see her for this, you know. She deserves somebody that's going to choose her and, and want her warmth and want to hold her, embrace her, and clear up anything that isn't working, you know, getting guided into the light, feeling that radiant energy, that beautiful energy, not wanting to lose it, and not wanting to lose it for the right reasons, not wanting to lose it, you know, somebody may not, you know, want to lose it because of their ego, thinking like, oh, like, I'm going to prove a point, or I don't want to lose this because I do want to open my heart up to you, I do care about you, I do love you. So I think there's a mix here. Some people are dealing with somebody that's good. Some people are dealing with somebody that maybe not be so so great. And I think you're going to know intuitively. But you may have been kind of guarding yourself from it. And then again, it's like there's this mix here. It's like some of you guys are just tempting to somebody. And some of you have somebody that's really like in this energy of despair. Because they, they do care about you. And it's like they may be holding themselves back. But underneath that, I do feel like this, this deep desire. They don't want this to fade. They do care about you. And as they're sinking into this, it's like your light that's helping to guide them back out so that they can cleanse it off, feel comfortable, and come back into this warmth. Others, it's more so just ego-driven, like, yeah, I'm just tempted by you, so, you know, maybe I'll carry on with my legacy of being, like, a player or a manipulator or whatever, and see what I can do about that. So just be careful, guys, because I feel like there's two totally different situations happening in this one. Yeah, then I have, I'm sorry for turning my back the times you needed me most, betrayal. And on the bottom here is, I just want to escape mind altered. So again, I feel like this is two totally different people. Some of you deal with somebody that does care about whatever happened between the two of you, and some of you are dealing with somebody that would rather just like not even acknowledge it. They don't care. You know what I mean? It's not, it may be not that they don't care, but they're, they're more so like, meh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore it, suppress it, numb myself. So let's see what the, um, feelings and desires are again here. What else do we need to know about this situation? What else do we need to know about this? Yeah, look at that. Eight of Cups with Justice. I feel like for some of you, there's somebody you need to walk away from in order to get to a place of balance and justice. And for others of you, like once you walk away from whatever obstacle, you know, or feeling that you've got all up inside of you, you will be walking right into justice, which is basically the same thing. But it's like some of you, it's the person you need to walk from in order to get here. And some of you, it's like the feeling that's connected to it or the, the resentment or the anger or whatever. There's something that's causing a blockage from this person being able to return to give you love and it's likely connected to pain from your past and it could even be on their side you know they could be blocking themselves from coming in because they haven't truly let go of some some sort of pain that they've been through maybe they didn't even really do anything that bad to you maybe they just couldn't really show up for you fully so it never really took off and now you know they need to leave that in the past in order to have justice with this, this divine connection. For some of you, it may be they need to walk away from their karmic person in order to come here. Um, or you need to walk away from your karmic person to come here. No matter what, something needs to be left behind, and that's what's going to lead to justice and to balance. But I definitely feel like there, there's been something that, that is not good, and for a majority of you, you know what that is or who it is. And once you acknowledge that, you can have victory. You can have your fresh start. So I'm going to go deeper into this, and I'm going to find out what to expect over the next four to six weeks. What does this person have to say to you? 
um, and any actions and any healing that needs to happen. Okay, guys? So if you want to join me, that link will be down below. If not, thank you for joining me this far. If you want to donate to the channel, there's a link down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, there's one more day left to get the five-question, 20-minute reading for $11 off. The information will be down below if you want to check that out. And all of my decks are listed down below if you'd like to get any of those. And thank you guys very much. Imune. Namaste.